when it comes to being when it comes to being creative mm-hmm. when it comes to being what it is that I do and who I am yes sir I do it for my daughter my daughter's name is Pina you know she, she's 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 the she's the most beautiful song I've ever made you know um and um my woman is, is just my 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 DJ. She, she's my roots you know mm-hmm. um or let me say my my family are my roots and my woman is is my stem to whatever I blossom and whatever changes I go through throughout the, my, my life, whether I'm in autumn, whether I'm in spring or whatever. So that's basically it. But if you're going to be a creative, if you're going to be somebody that wants to be successful, what you need to do, you need to be able to be grounded and rooted. So you need to have, you need to have firm roots, have family, whether it's family that you are given or it's family that you acquire yourself, you need to have family. Mm-hmm. You need to have it. And then in terms of being a creative and in terms of being a successful individual, you need to have some level of spirituality attached to it, whatever it is that you do, because without spirituality, you are rather to all forms of evils that are around the world. And there are damn near evils around the world. Bro, <laughs> that's great. That, 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 there's a lot that's that it. you just need that's to, it. you know, make sure that you're aligned. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I want to know in terms of like um, this is not this is not what I thought this podcast was going to be. But let's go. Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah, let's go ahead. what I want to know in terms of like um, your your you spoke about you know family you know mm-hmm. you spoke about um, yeah. your your daughter in particular. Mm. Um, what 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 environment are you raising her in? What values are you are you teaching her? <laughs> She's raising a very loving environment. An extremely loving environment because um, if you meet my daughter, you're just going to meet like the love that she gets from her mother mm-hmm. and her father, from her mother's family and her father's family. Mm-hmm. That's basically, she's just raised with love around her and she's, she's just a beaming light of whatever that, that, that is she's, 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 around, she's surrounded with. Mm-hmm. Um, the one thing I try and do is, or not, not try and do, but what happens is I watch cartoons with my daughter. Yeah since I'm an animation head, you feel me? Um, I play pretend with my daughter since I'm a creative. Uh-huh. I play a lot. So mm-hmm. there's so much, I'm, I'm, I, I'm a good dad. I don't know how, am I do, how I'm doing in the terms of being a father and all that things. But in terms of being a dad, I think I'm doing pretty great. She, <laughs> her and, yeah, she's daddy's little girl. <laughs> okay. She's daddy's little girl, you know, but... Um, you know, th- th- there's a narrative about black men that has been um, rotating for many decades and for, for close to a century right now. And it's the fact that we are deadbeat and we're what and what. What I'll tell you is, man, yo, man, the, the, the generation of the 80s, the children that were born in the 80s, 90s, late 2000s, they've been changing that narrative for a while. We are good fucking fathers. We are good, we're, we're good dads. So both men are trash. That's a lie. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, because... Damn near every nigga that I know that's a dad right now. Those they, they fucking brilliant dads, man. Yeah, there's some assholes out there that are fucking up the game. For one, I come and take them. But yo, man, yo, we know what it's like to be dads, man. Like fuck everything else, mm-hmm. you know, because the mother's concerned about the father. The kid is concerned about the dad, and niggas are good dads out there. So I think it's about time that black women started protecting black men because they haven't been able to protect black men in a long time. And the reason why black women haven't been able to protect black men in a long time is because black women were portrayed to be sexual objects, hoes, bitches, whatever, 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 whatever. And we were supposed to follow through with that. Black women have been overly sexualized. But black men were overly sexualized first. Overtly sexualized first. Mm-hmm. We don't find like other races really attractive like that. It might be something racist that I'm saying, but black men, black men have been shut down. Black fathers have been shut down. But now, nah, man, my generation and the generations after me, they're just changing that narrative, man. We're good fucking dads. Mm-hmm. We're fucking good dads, man. And we are gonna raise a bunch of children that are gonna be cool. Let's we're good. Go. We're good. We're brilliant. I think that everybody out there that's a black father who knows their kids, every single one of them, they should give themselves a round of applause. Facts. Feel me? Yes, sir. And, you know, 
in the beginning you spoke about like you know seeing the world exposing yourself to to different places knowing that you yeah. know, your environment is bigger than you think yeah. what is the importance of doing that with your child as well to expose them to let them travel to 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 let them see the world what the, is the benefits the crazy the crazy thing is this and it's a fucking big big wake up call yeah. you find all these motherfuckers by lori kim fetu mauti akhono ushima uma two point something uma three block in a weekend or in a night but motherfuckers won't spend like fucking half of that money to go fishing or camping with their kids in their very same city or in their districts you'll find you'll find yourself having a conversation with somebody where Lauren King hasn't even left the borders of their city in like five years even worse you'll find a nigga where Lauren King hasn't been obligation has obligation within the past two years except going to court so how are you gonna have a conversation with a motherfucker like that Dog. So how are you gonna expect somebody like that to understand the Romana needs to leave the hood every now and again? You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Shout. 